Hi YouTubers, um, my name is Matt. Um, I just wanted to show you a little experiment that I got from Inventor3 on YouTube. Um, first of all, um, there is... Well, how about we show you the experiment first. So this is a circuit that he tells you exactly how to build. The only difference is, is that I added um, a capacitor, um, a 200 uh, volt, uh, 47 UF. Um, and then I added this one as well, which is a 1600 volt. Um, so I just uh, I'll quickly turn it on, and we're getting about 1. sorry, 0.23 volts. Um, I'll switch it over so we can start off at zero. So put the amperage load on, and now we're at zero. Okay, so let's switch that back. Actually, we'll leave that on. Switch it back over, and it's already going up. Second, I take that load off, it goes up really quick, so I gotta catch it quick. So, look how fast that's going up. Now, the capacity of this is two. Um, let's see if we can focus in on that. Yeah, so that's that's two, um, that'll be 0.2 volts. So, let's show you what I got going on here. You can see the black wire goes all the way up to that coil. These coils are from um, uh, TVs. Um, inside TVs there's a lot of magnetic wire. And basically what that is, is a bunch of this little stuff wrapped up a crap load of times to make nice big coils. I don't have time to uh, build a Tesla coil or straighten out these wires as of yet, um, but I hope to soon. Um, so before I used to get results because I didn't have a good ground. Um, my numbers would go up very slowly, unlike this. And I'll actually show you the difference without the ground. So I ground it out on, um, you can see, you can see the, my, my hose uh, connection for the, for the outside is in my garage. So I just ran a magnetic wire all the way across from there all the way to the bottom. So we're already up almost, we're up to about well, 0.17 volts right now. You can just quickly switch over to show you exactly how many volts we have. So we're at 1.9. So um, the most, actually I was switching around with it and I got it to go up to about 0.7 volts, um, which, which is a lot. So um, it had something to do with me taking the, the amp load out of there and the voltage would go up, you know. Another thing that's also explained with free energy. So um, they, they say that when you um, pull, when you pull the, so first when you turn on a switch, the, the, uh, the voltage goes first. Then second follows the, the amperage. If you keep switching back and forth before the, the load, which is the current, or amperage can follow, then uh, then you end up uh, absorbing more radiant energy. So um, I'm just gonna give you a quick look at how I did this. You can see that uh, well, it looks like uh, someone's having technical difficulties outside. Um, so yeah, and uh, normally I should have put a loop on that, but I have yet to. Um, I'm going to try to make this video as slow as possible. So we're already up to 0.24 volts. So I'm going to I'm gonna do the load. So just give me a second. I'm going to put this down. So I'm just switching over the leads. So that way I drain the load. I want to show you the difference in the amount of speed that it goes up if you do not have a ground on it. So, there is the magnetic wire. It is now over there onto the other circuit that I built, which is two of them put together. Um, and then it goes up there still. Um, I also wanted to show this one. I pulled these components out of a TV, an old TV, and it works the same. So you don't even have to go out and buy these components. Um, you, can, you can just pull them out of a scrap TV. Uh, just you, uh, I had to pull the the diodes um, out of a um, 
out of a battery charger for a, a drill, um, which was on this circuit. They were all attached there, and that makes your uh, bridge rectifier, which converts your uh, AC into DC. So, now that we still have the current being pulled, let's switch it over into the milliamp range. Sorry, the millivolt. And we're going to connect. Now, if you look at that number, that number is going up pretty slow compared to this. Now, I'm, gonna, I'm not going to show you me connecting it, but I'm going to tell you exactly when I connect it. So, it's going to be connected now. Look how much quicker that goes up with it just connected as a ground. We're getting like, you know, a huge increase in percentage. So um, it takes a couple minutes for it to get up to um, about three uh, millivolts. And um, once that happens, then it just uh, it, it takes a lot longer to charge up. So yeah, I just wanted to show you guys free energy. This is pulled from the vacuum. It's free energy. There's energy all around us. So, yeah, my name is Matt, um, and uh, you guys can uh, send me a message if you want to get in touch. If you have any questions, I'm uh, here to teach and help out. So, the other thing is I will be covering is the GEAT. I built a GEAT, a uh, Vortex Plasma Heat Exchanger, and it runs off of that, which is just a bubbler. Um, you can't see it very well, so I'll show it in the daytime. Anyways, uh... Give me a shout. Let me know if you need any help. Um, uh, if you want to find uh, Inventor Three, um, he is on my uh, on my favorites list. Um, some people don't know how uh, to work YouTube, so I figured I'd help you guys out. If you click on my username, which would should be on the top left hand side of the um, of the uh, of my video. Um, you'll see H2O Plasma Plug. Well, if you click on that, that'll bring you to my page. And on the right-hand side of it, you'll see favorites. Click through there and look for a username that says Inventor3. Seems like a very nice guy. Um, have yet to have a chat with him. He should be, uh, we should be having a chat pretty soon. Um, we all want free energy, and it's all around us. So I'm signing out. Take her easy. Bye-bye.